I think we're now seeing uh, in data science the emergence of a profession that is across all of these different industries and that can therefore have some code of conduct for its members. So it's, it's a good time to, to be doing this. The number one thing I think data scientists have right now is the ability to change dramatic lives. With great power comes great responsibility. And so how does a person know about the potential impacts of choices that might actually take place with the things they're working on? One of the biggest challenges we dealt with was getting people to acknowledge that the responsibility for conducting ethical data science doesn't just begin and end at the process of solving the problem itself, but rather the idea of choosing the questions in the first place. That's also not morally neutral, and people have an obligation to consider the implications of the work they're doing and whether they can maximize benefit and minimize harm to society. So there's a myth that data is neutral and that algorithms are neutral, and it's very important that we catch up with the reality uh, that, in fact, we need, to, we need to craft these things responsibly with all stakeholders in mind. This idea of responsibility really comes back to who's impacted by the choices that I'm making. And so uh, what are the consequences for the individuals whose data I'm sharing? Really imagine the human being who's associated with each data point or each row in your spreadsheet so that it's not just an edge case, it's not just an outlier, but it's a, it's a person who's attached to that. And I think really making that the focus of your practice will really help you think about the problem in a new way. We try to reach out to everyone, like uh, the citizen data scientists you know, from Texas, the uh, multi-PhD tenure track professor from you know, Ithaca, and we are trying to work with them to make sure we understand what problem they have and what tools or methodology we can bring to them to make sure that they deal with data in an ethical and responsible way. Everybody comes here with a different set of experiences and perspectives, and this type of ground-up way of generating a code of ethics allows us to incorporate and voice uh, those things. So this is not just being determined by somebody who has worked in a specific field or two specific fields and says these are the best practices. It's somebody saying, oh wow, I've done that, I've seen this, and this is what we can make of it. This initiative, more so than others, maybe has the potential to um, effectively represent the breadth of the field. I'm interested in making sure that the next generation of data scientists um, are aware that their actions are going to affect the lives of a lot of people. And it's important to have this in a, in a structured and standardized way, like a code of ethics. We can build something that hopefully will be useful, um, reusable, and uh, have some positive impact uh, on our society.